Hey folks, I hope you're having a great day. My name is Chris and uh, in today's video I'd like to make some tool holders for uh, my squares. Anyhow, if you'd like to see how I build these, uh, these holders for my squares, go ahead and stick around. Before we get started, don't forget to uh, click down there in the corner the subscribe button and uh, once you hit subscribe, don't forget to hit the bell so that you uh, won't miss a single one of my uploads. Uh, in the next few videos, you'll probably see me hanging uh, some other tools on my wall, so that's uh, something you can look forward to. But uh, also, don't forget to check out the rest of my channel where I built uh, the, the rolling workshop that you see and also uh, some other unique projects such as my mobile tool wall. So what I'm doing here is I'm uh, just cutting out a little bracket out of a 2x4. I'm going to do uh, a two-cut rabbit. And I ended up cutting these down to a little bit of a narrower width off camera. But anyhow, it's a pretty simple holder. I'm only going to attach with one screw and a simple L bracket. And then uh, it fits through the triangle in the uh, speed square. So for this bracket, I'm going to try out an idea. I think a simple L that mounts to the wall out of a piece of uh, scrap plywood. And uh, I'm just going to cut a, uh, a kerf in it that will hold the square. I'm going to kerf with my table saw blade slightly wider than the square, so I think it will fit pretty well. Uh, one of the things I learned here is that uh, I actually had to go back and cut, I actually had to go back and cut a, a second kerf to kind of make it wide enough I wanted it to hold the square loosely, but uh, not allow it to fall off when we're moving the wall around. So next I'm going to make two simple uh, shelves with just a little uh, kerf cut out for the ruler portion of the squares and uh, I'll just mount them with pocket holes and round over all the edges on the router. This is just some uh, scrap birch plywood and uh, I'm just going to cut out, first I'm going to rip, uh, rip down the strip and then uh, I'll cross cut them to the length that I already marked out. Here I'll hold them vertically and just cut a, uh, a kerf and what this will allow the uh, main portion of the square to sit on the shelf and the blade of the uh, square to sit down through this kerf and it'll hold it uh, securely on the wall.
I really appreciate all of you that are subscribed and uh, I couldn't thank you enough. I really appreciate your feedback and uh, the comments and the, the tips and the other uh, things you share with me. You're really helping me to uh, grow as a woodworker and uh, really encouraging me to keep these videos coming. Anyhow, if you haven't already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I, uh, I have a goal of reaching a thousand subscribers by the end of July. I'm 44 subscribers away from meeting my goal. About 10 days left to, to reach that goal. And uh, I have some big things planned, such as some live videos. Uh, once I reach that uh, thousand subscriber mark, that YouTube will open up a couple more features for me. Uh, but uh, I really could use your help in reaching that. So if you like my videos, don't forget to share them with your friends and uh, pass along the word so that uh, I can keep these benchtop uh, workshop videos coming. Anyhow, thanks for watching. I hope you, uh, you have a great day.